<sighs> Dancing is really tiring. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Calgary Barbell. We're wrapping up another week of War of the West training. So to cap up this week's training, squats went exceptionally well once again, staying mostly pain-free, which is a huge thing for me. This is the best my squats have felt consistently uh, since well before World's Prep, probably Nationals Prep last year, when I started dealing with my hip issue. Uh, so I'm able to, like I said, stay mostly pain-free. I'm able to push volume. I'm really able to actually get up into RPs that are challenging because of the weight on my back, not because of the pain. So I hit 270 kilos for a single on my competition squat and that went pretty well. Uh, that puts my projection, I think, up to like 292. So at the meet, I'm hoping to be back around the 300 mark, which would be great for me and a huge marker of progress. Uh, pin squats continue to suck. It's really, really tough to maintain position right at the bottom. I find they're really, really tough on my quads, but at the same time, I found they've been an exceptionally beneficial movement. Uh, for helping me stay upright, which seems to really matter in terms of how much my hip hurts or whether my hip hurts, as well as front squats. That's something that I've been doing this whole training block. Uh, I've been doing front squats for sixes every Wednesday. And again, just murders my quads, but really does a great job of, um, I think, developing a really upright posture uh, and allowing me to get nice and strong out of the bottom so I'm not dipping forward and, and getting into that mechanic that really bothers my hip. Uh, Bench-wise, shoulders are holding up, everything's feeling good there. Everything's moving well, my bench seems to be progressing. So I hit 162 and a half kilos for my competition single. Bunch of volume at 132 kilos. Um, this time last training cycle leading into nationals, my shoulder got really, really bunged up and it hasn't happened, knock on wood. Um, it won't, but yeah, who knows, we might even see a bench PR at this meet, which would be uh, crazy, it'd be awesome. I haven't PR'd my raw bench since Worlds last year, so just over a year ago. Uh, and deadlift, I'm feeling exceptionally, exceptionally good with. I'm feeling really cocky about it, actually. Um, I'm thinking I might even try for 800 on my second and do something completely stupid on my third. Uh, it just, it feels that good, especially with hook grip. It's given me a lot of added confidence that I won't miss uh, on that same sort of technicality uh, that I talked about in my hook grip video that we did. So hopefully uh, that goes really well. I hit 350 kilos. Pause 325. And pause 302 and a half for a set of four, which was a big PR for me. Uh, so deadlift just feels insane right now. It feels really, really good. So hopefully I can do something really cool at War of the West and uh, put on a bit of a show. Moving on to our question of the day today. We got a question from Bear Brothers Powerlifting, some of our good friends from Regina. Uh, and they actually train at the gym Metal, which is where War of the West is gonna be held in a couple of weeks here. So uh, these guys are saying that they've been doing more GPP lately, twice a week, progressive hill sprints. Um, Concerned whether or not it'll affect his strength, but so far it seems okay. He wants to have capacity for health, um, but doesn't want to affect his success in powerlifting. So he wants to know what are your thoughts on powerlifters incorporating uh, GPP and anaerobic aerobic activity into their training, and how would I suggest they do it? Uh, I would say, uh, I'm not sure if that's Nick or, or who that is, but anyways, I would say guys that the way that you are doing it would be the way that I would do it, and that would be to gradually incorporate it, and you, you just kind of have to see how it affects you. It's gonna vary from person to person. It's gonna vary from training style to training style. Somebody who's doing a higher, or sorry, a, a, a more demanding training style in terms of the recovery demands is probably going to be able to push that envelope a little bit less, whereas somebody who has a little bit more in the tank with their training is gonna be able to push that kind of stuff a little further. So because, 
there are so many variables involved. It's going to be a bit of a science experiment. You're going to have to kind of, uh, you know, go in with your hypothesis of, okay, I can, I, maybe I can do two of these sessions a week. Do it for a while, record your results, go back and say, confirm or deny your hypothesis. So whether, whether it worked for you, whether it didn't, whether it affected your training or whether it didn't, it's going to be a lot of experimentation. You're going to have to kind of uh, a toy with it on your own. I would say for most people, start with once a week. Start with a very, very low um, working volume, I suppose. And do that for a couple of weeks, see if it affects your training. If not, increase. Increase, increase, you know, monitor how much it's affecting your recovery, if at all, how your numbers are going up or down in the gym, um, and use that as your guide as to whether or not it's going to affect your training. There's no hard and fast rule of like, okay, you're a power lifter, you can do this many a week. So I, I wish it were that easy to give you guys a distinct answer, but I would say try it out, start slow and gradual, and really carefully monitor your, your markers for recovery. So your soreness, your tiredness, your motivation to train, the things like that. And that's gonna be the best way to get sort of a read on how that's gonna work for you. Another really exciting tidbit, we're gonna be having our shirts and sweaters dropped off today. So those will be launching within the next couple of weeks. We'll give you guys a, a hard and fast uh, sort of deadline or, or launch date for that within the next couple of days once we get shipping and some things like that figured out. But it will be coming very, very soon. We're very excited about it. You guys have been seeing some of the shirts in the videos recently. So if you like those, they're gonna be coming to you very quickly. Um, towards the end of the month, we're going to have some more stuff printed. We've got three quarter lengths coming. We've got women's tees. We've got women's racer backs coming. And then further into the summer, we're probably going to do some tank tops and some hats. So we got all kinds of cool shit coming. Really, really excited about it. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Leave a like. Question of the day. We are open season for that. So ask your questions below. If you have any questions about anything else, feel free to ask them and we will see you guys next week.